Hi there friends, this is Grace. Um, welcome to another process video. So I'm calling this process video um, working with things around my table. So I did a project and I'll share that soon, but I had all these leftover stuff, paper, stickers, um, burlap, whatnot around my table and I thought I can um, try to find a picture that matches it and then create a layout out of it and so I hope that this will inspire you to just grab all the stuff that's laying around your table and uh, make something. Um, these are pictures of um, I believe it's 2012 when I did this um, scarf. I bought the, the yarn from um, Tuesday morning and it was kind of a um, how do you call it the variegated type of yarn and I wanted to um, make something out of it and I only had one um, spool I think that's what you call them or one skein and um, I decided I was going to make a um, a scarf with it um, I actually was I, I made it in the summer which is kind of weird because you usually should wear scarves in the winter but um, my kids were in a uh, swimming program and so I can't I can't really read when they're in the swimming program because I want to be able to keep an eye on them when they're in the pool even though they have their instructor with them and so I decided that I would just knit while they are in their um, in their lessons during their lessons so that um, I can still keep an eye on them but my hands are still working um, I have that um, little extra burlap because I made a wreath which I will show maybe in a month or so I haven't taken a picture of it yet it's done but um, I still have my Christmas stuff up so um, I will put that on my door once I put away my Christmas decorations these are um, quite old papers they're from um, a company called oh I forgot already uh, Lily V designs I think yes it is and um, I love the the paper that that pink background had a subtle um, design on it that I really liked and then the floral and then I like this checkered blue as well um, I'm punching a border just so I can add a little bit more blue on the top of my page because I have that blue that I'm using on the bottom and then I have that kind of patchwork design as a border as well and then these are just trims that I found on my table um, it's probably from previous um, pages that I've done and so I'm just kind of incorporating that as well as this twine from uh, Lawn Fawn I love that twine has a cream and gold base it really it, it's really nice it makes it shine anyways um, I didn't do this in the video because it was taking so long but I love that frame that I had cut out from the silhouette and then I had put uh, a scrap paper in the back which is the yellow and then I used the mini sticker letter stickers that was um, in the pack of this Lily B design pad and um, I put in a quote about creativity in there that I found on um, Pinterest which I really like it's from LDS prophet um, present Uchtdorf and it talks about um, how the creativity is the yearning of the human soul and I felt um, that was appropriate for my my page because this um, this page is all about me creating something um, with my hands which I really like and um, it just spoke to me so I added that and also it helped me to use up those little stickers so that's what I'm going to do um, this border I cut the ends into notches and then now I'm going to the dis going to distress the edges using just my knife when you are going to do this with your knife be very careful because you can cut yourself and I've learned that the hard way and also um, you need to be gentle because I've ripped a few of the edges of my my strip too much because it is pretty sharp and then I'm adding this trim gold trim to the page with some glue dots and it just so happened that it fit perfectly it was a 12 inch strip which was nice and then I'm layering the pi the pictures. Um, I'm putting all my pictures on the top of the border and also the quote. And then I'm going to put my title on the bottom. 
and then you'll see that later. I decide to add some foam adhesive to this quote just to give to make it stand out a little bit more. I did spend a lot of time on putting those letters to make that quote, so I want that to stand out a bit. And then I'm going to use these um, chipboard letters from Basic Gray that was also lying around on my table. And it just so happens that they were black and it fit perfectly with my page. Um, I'm going to um, spell out my title. And I've had this for a while and I actually have a second pack which I'm now opening up because I ran out of the um, capital D in my older pack. So I'm now adhering those. Now um, these have um, sticky backs or sticky, yeah, so you just peel it. But I'm finding out, I don't know if it's because they're old or it's just because um, I think you know you need to put more adhesive in it so I went back and added more adhesive to it just so that it doesn't come off when I do put them in my scrapbooks now the burlap I finally decided I was going to cut him into a heart and then I also inked it with some black just so it gives it a little bit of um, color and dimension because it was kind of um, looking bland just being plain and then I'm going to add the word love to finish off my title And I've decided to use just lowercase just so it can fit perfectly in the heart. And um, I realized here that it doesn't really want to stick with the burlap if I'm just using the adhesive that, that is behind the letters. So I decided to add a little bit more glue in there. And then I'm just adding some um, pen lines around just to give it a little bit more handmade look since that is what I'm going for with this page. And I believe I have I had my little baby on my lap here. You're going to be able to see his hand there pretty soon. I think I think it's in this layout. I might be wrong. Um, during the Christmas break, I did a lot of pages with process videos. I went gung-ho with making scrapbook pages because um, my kids weren't in school, I wasn't in school, and um, and so I did kind of a marathon. So I can't remember which one was which anymore when I was doing the process video. But this was the first one that I did. So I'm just trying to use up those stickers. That was also part of the Lily Bee Design um, pack. And then that um, Happiness Is sticker sheet that's where I'm going to handwrite my journaling and I'm just adding more twine to that just to add some more layers and also so I can use up the stuff that I have in my on my table before I put them away and then I'm gonna tie a knot um, tie a bow I mean with the ends of it and then I decided I wanted to add some buttons to this page as well so I picked um, I believe three yellow buttons and I'm going to thread them with some of that American Crafts twine that I recently purchased now um, working with this twine it still has some of that kind of hair and um, parts of the twine and uh, but it's it's not as much as the others I thought that you know just be plain and it wouldn't have all those fray edges but it still has it but it's not as much so I can deal with that and I'm putting the buttons um, with a threaded twine on three different parts of the layout and adding them with some glue dots and then because I wanted to use up all I mean not all but most of the items that I had on hand and these sticker sheets had some um, banners in them I decided to add them to the page kind of last minute and I'm adding them I'm not um, layering them with foam dots I'm just adding them as is but I am putting some of that brown twine behind it just so um, it would look more realistic as a banner and now that I look at it I'm even thinking that maybe I should have um, just maybe um, highlighted them a little bit with some pen lines around it but oh well so there is my page and I'm just going to handwrite the journaling and it should be done. So thank you for watching this and if you enjoy this please subscribe or um, hit the like button and I will see you when I see you. Bye.